Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you my cheese ball recipe. If you want a really easy go-to cheese ball recipe, this is it. We got this recipe from a family friend probably 20 years ago and we've been making it ever since. It's so easy and simple. Um, just a few ingredients, but it tastes like there's so much more to it than there is. So let's get started. So this is everything that you need to make this cheese ball. I have three containers of Philadelphia cream cheese, one packet of the Lipton onion soup mix, two packages of this Buttig original beef. Um, the recipe says two small packages or one large. I've never seen the large, so I always just buy the two um, small. You're gonna need a cutting board and a sharp knife, and I just have two bowls here. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is open up these beef packages and just cut these into really small pieces. I think you could probably use a food processor for this, but I always just do it by hand. And I keep the packages separate because you're going to want to split this into two separate piles. One is to mix in and one is to coat. So I'm going to just put this first bunch of beef into this little bowl to set it aside. And then get started with the second pack. Like I said, you could use a food processor for this, but I just find that it's so quick and easy to cut it up that cleaning the food processor would probably take me more time than just cutting it up by hand. So that's why I just go ahead and cut it up by hand. So for this next part, I'm gonna take my ring off and put it in a safe place because this is when you get dirty. So I want to place all three packages of cream cheese into the mixing bowl. Okay, so at this point, you have your three packages of cream cheese, and you're just going to add the entire package of your Lipton soup mix. And your buttig beef from one package. And we're just going to mix this up really good by hand and just make sure that we get all of that really mixed in really well. Once you get this all mixed in really, really well, you're just gonna wanna take this and form it into a ball. Now, I've seen people do some pretty neat shapes like Christmas trees or um, candy canes, different shapes. I tend to just do a ball because it's easier to transport if I'm going to someone else's house with it. But if you're creative enough, I'd say go for it. All right, so here is my ball. 
So after you get your cheese ball made into um, whatever shape that you want it to be, that's when you bring in your extra little um, bowl of the cut up beef and you're just gonna roll this in it to coat the outside of the ball with the beef. the outside it takes a little bit once you get your cheese ball coated really nicely with the beef then you can bring in a nice cute dish sit it right in the middle and you've got a beautiful cheese ball. You'll wanna pair this with a yummy cracker. This is the one that I choose. It's a good, good thins veggie blend and it's gluten free and it's super yummy. I hope that you guys found my cheese ball recipe helpful. Thanks for watching today guys and I'll see you tomorrow.